Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, picking up where part one left off in this video, uh, at part one you saw us reaching the island of Ocracoke, where we spent a day and a half. I did not film any on the island, uh, me and David, we kind of uh, just hung out, we rented a golf cart, and we traveled around the island and bar hopped and enjoyed some really good seafood and enjoyed a nice little break from the bikes. After that, we woke up, and we had to catch a ferry to Cedar Island, which is what you're seeing right here. When we woke up that morning, I found that my kickstand spring had actually broken. I'm going to assume it's from the uh, motion of the first ferry bouncing up and down in the ocean. So, I found a Harley dealer in uh, outside Camp Lejeune called New River Harley-Davidson, and we figured we would... Head over that way, seeing if a Harley kickstand spring would fit on my Indian. And that is where we are starting today's video. Alrighty, I'm all hot and sweaty. My Indian, uh, it broke on me. And I'm in the parking lot at a Harley dealer. I could probably trade it in for a Road King or something, or... Eh. What do you think, Dave? We should just fix it in the parking lot, right? Yeah. We're gonna fix it in the parking lot. Let me show you this. This spring, my kickstand spring broke. So I drove it with a bungee cord on it, and we just, uh... The spring from a Harley will fit on this, so... Six dollars at a Harley dealer verse 65 at an Indian dealer. After fixing the kickstand, we went inside, we bought a couple t-shirts, and I have to say that pretty much all the staff at New River Harley-Davidson were amazing, with the exception of one person. So in the parts department, there's a really cool guy who is awesome and helpful, and then there is a fat, miserable cunt of a human. And if you've ever been there, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. That person is just an absolute drag on everybody and I really hope that he stubs his cunt toe on the coffee table at 3 o'clock in the morning. Hey guys, uh, we made it to Myrtle Beach last night. Uh, really didn't shoot a whole lot of video. The coastal sides of North Carolina and South Carolina are pretty flat and boring. That we were getting dumped on with rain and wind yesterday. It was not the most enjoyable ride day, but you know, a, a bad ride day is better than a no ride day, right? I mean, unless you're on an island like we were the day before and driving around on a golf cart and bar hopping, that was pretty freaking amazing. So uh, we start heading inland today. Uh, looks like we're gonna be going through some weather again, but after that we may be clearing up and we're gonna be back in the mountains tomorrow. So I'm really excited for that. The, you know, I'm not really an ocean guy. It's been fun, I've really enjoyed it, but I'm ready to get back to the mountains. So we're going to finish up some coffee and get on the road and see where the day takes us. So as we set out towards Seneca, South Carolina, we had another day of rain and wind and flat roads. As we got closer to Seneca, the roads, they did get nicer and start to get some hills and curves as we were entering the foothills to the mountains. So between the rain and the lack of scenery, I really didn't shoot much video this day. So the next morning, we set out from Seneca, South Carolina, and our goal was Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Spoiler alert, we did not make Oak Ridge that day. The uh, day started off well, and the weather quickly moved in. It was another day of getting rained on constantly. The roads in the mountains became like ice. Uh, they, it was fresh asphalt, fresh paint, and I, I lost the back end of my bike once. I had to throw my feet down and kind of ski the bike because it was trying to slide out from under me. It was a very dangerous day, so about 4, 4.30, we called it a quits, and we found a hotel near Teleco Plains, and that's where we turned in for the night. So as we started the next day, we knew this would be our last day of riding together. So we had a lot of ground to cover, but we wanted to make sure we got to enjoy it. This was also some of the best weather we had of the entire trip, which was amazing because I got to ride one of my favorite roads, Devil's Triangle, 
and we rode so many other amazing roads through northern Tennessee in the I-75 corridor. It was absolutely beautiful, and this was by far, to me, probably the most enjoyable day of the entire trip. We spent the next several hours snaking our way through the Daniel Boone National Forest as we headed back to where we began our trip in London, Kentucky. Overall, it was a fabulous trip and I really loved spending the time with David. It was great to be out on a bike. I had not done a trip like that in two, almost three years, so it was wonderful. I really appreciate uh, David for doing all the planning and just taking on all the logistics side of it. I also appreciate him putting up with me. Uh, <laughs> When we get rained on several days in a row, I can kind of get to a very pissy state of mind. And that did happen, and David was a champ, and he knew when I needed space, and hopefully he didn't take it personal. He was wonderful, and I just greatly appreciate everything he did for this trip, and it was super enjoyable, and I look forward to doing more trips with him. I know I didn't shoot the kind of video that a lot of you would per se like me to shoot, but this trip wasn't about you guys. This was about me getting out and doing a good road trip. It was about David getting out and doing a good road trip. It had been a long time since either of us had really done a trip like this. So it was great to get back out and be in touch with, with the road. That's kind of where I belong. I have a gypsy soul. So it was a fabulous trip. Thanks for watching. I love each and every one of you. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, comment below, and in the description box below there's links to all of our social media as well as our company website hotheadstalls.com where we make everything for horses right here in the U.S. I love you all. I will see you in the next one. I am out of here.